works because I'm not sure if it's fully fleshed out. I think it's it's pretty buggy as you saw when I. I think we've still got one guy here who's a a remnant of the herding glitch. Yeah, this guy. When you put the wheat down and whenever an animal dies, he levels up. I think that was the glitch. Oh, hello. He is bad vision. He's also courageous. New guy. Mary. Uh, girl. Sorry. I apologize. I didn't read that. Um, Jack of all trades. Quick learner. Yeah. Sure. Come in. Come in, Mary. She's So she's currently a farmer, am I? Hey. Well. Sure. Mary was accepted into Swag Town. Awesome. We're growing. Our reach extends. <clears throat> That's awesome. He's just murdered a chicken. I think next time I might play on a smaller map because this is just quite a big map which just allows huge numbers of mobs to spawn. And I think it means like whenever there's mobs about, you know, like I'm not sure if wolves count. I think they're just natural wildlife that are slightly or ag aggressive. Like I mean, like goblins and um, archers and and the uh, skeletons and such. They stop migrants from spawning, but I think we've currently massacred all current hostiles, with the exception of wolves, because they're natural. I take it as the logic behind that. Yeah, so that's a tip. If you want us, if you want more migrants quickly, probably play on a smaller map is the easiest way. Um, what I'd like to do. How big are we gonna make this castle? That is the question. Because I want it pretty big, but I don't know how we're gonna go about doing it. I think a lot of it. Oh, oh that's a big old. Wow, pickaxes are huge. What the hell? I never noticed. Um, I got totally off topic then. Um, yeah, so I'm going to build a huge, absolutely huge castle, I think. I think most of which I'll do off camera because you don't want to see me just see guys place blocks. Um, how are they doing for designations on the mine? Am I not mining this layer out? Just two. Hmm. Whoa, look at all. Whoa, what's going on over here? Look at all these ores. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, hello. Charismatic and clumsy. Good day. Even more. Epic. Awesome. That is a big old designation. Um, and it slows down again. Okay. Who. Okay, we're gonna want some more. God so much stuff going on. Just overloading my senses. Oh, she's a blacksmith. I think we could leave her as a blacksmith. Honestly, we've got relatively high population. We're going to need more food um, for a relatively high level farmers should do. Um, let's move this over here, actually. Oh, oh, merchant. See, I'm just being overloaded. Trader, 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 trader. Ah, hello, Percival. Yes, so we're going to want some more food. Ooh, hopefully we get some new seeds. Let's hope Percival uh, sets us up. Maybe some potatoes. I think they should add whisk, like vodka, sorry, to your game. Oh, lots of flax seeds. We could add some more flax. Um, so cotton seeds. We've planted cotton, but not a lot of it's growing. Wheat, we've got wheat. We don't need an awful lot of wheat. Don't need potatoes. We've got a lot of carrots. No corn. No turnips. I wonder if they're going to add, like, crop rotation in this. I mean, that would be a very interesting concept. Because in real life, you can't just plant the same crops in soil. Because it becomes... The nutrients that one sort of plant use vary to another. So... If you just continuously grow one plant, it takes all of that sort of nutrients out. Say, for example, wheat will require more potassium. Not sure if that's true, but that's the general idea. 
and therefore you alternate the crops and it stops this issue from becoming too, you know, severe. And then every few years you just let the um, field grow over and... Oh, flaxseed. Give you four flax... Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, so they just leave it to sort of grow wild stuff and then they sort of mulch... Or not mulch down and then they... Um, yeah, they just kind of re-till it or whatever. I can't think what the proper word is. Oh, yes. Thank you. That's a good deal. Six cloth. Oh, we got some feathers. We got lots of flax. Lots and lots. Awesome. Um, oh, hello, Francis. He's courageous and clumsy. And a mason? Clumsy and a stone mason. Is that really a great idea? Yeah, why not? Everyone's welcome in Swagtown. This, is, this has been a brilliant session so far. The merchant is give you five coin. Ah, boom. This this trader, he is like the best. I'd love to be able to like send your own traders off. So say you want like a specific seed. You could send your own trader off with like iron gear, maybe like a sword or something. Send like him one of these guys with him. Him, for example, and then they go off into the world and trade and stuff. Like obviously it'd be very hard to do, like you wouldn't be able to see it because that'd just be too complex for you know the, the oh, oh, I was hoping he had more for the guys to make but it'd be a cool feature maybe some modder can do it mm. I see a good future for this game I really hope that it does spiral so to speak become you know very extremely popular oh I accidentally clicked um, sure, you can, what was I doing? I was making some, god, I get really sidetracked when I'm, there's just so much going on. So we need some rope, we need four rope. And you, my friend. Wow, nice eyebrows. Um, Taylor. Oh, she's gonna foul. Mm, she's level two. Is there no chickens? Waylon. Back to mining then. Actually, I think we'll leave this guy as a the constant gardener. Oh, wait, where's our normal dude? You're our constant blacksmith. Is she mate? Has she done it? Did she make them? How many more do we need? Oh, she only actually complete made one. So let's try again. Oh, no, wrong recipe. Let's see if she can do it. Two. Good GG, you made it. Oh, she did it. Um, rope is incredibly useful and just... Yay, who makes it? Rope. Taylor. So she can actually go and make it. And then once we have the loom... We can then make the cloth, which we can make from cotton, flax. So we don't we don't really need an awful lot of cotton. Flax is more important, so then really. Okay. Oh, look at all this. Engineer, engineer. Why isn't she making? Ah. What's she making? Emptying inventory, waiting for four seconds. Emptying inventory, waiting for three seconds. Ah, she's gonna build the loom. Brilliant. Okay. I don't even know what we need to do now. Um, 209 of those. Very good. Very good indeed. Mine tracks? I've not been paying attention. When did they add these? Scaffolding. I don't think this works at the moment, but mine tracks? <gasps> oh, that's gonna be, oh, that's awesome. So we can make a cloth tunic. The tunic is a base garment worn by both men and women to cover the body from the shoulder to around the knee. The clove tunic is the simplest armor type offering the least protection, but can be worn, worn uh, by all professions. Do we need more armor? What are these like, a steel halberd? How much? We got a lot of silver, a lot of steel. F a metric shit ton of 
tin, apparently. Wow. This world is, is just rolling. Lots of wool. Wheat. Imagine we can make some, some lovely, lovely beds soon. I think what we'll do is we'll build a basic sort of bunk house in here because nobody wants to sleep on the ground, do they? I haven't, I, I rarely, oh, it's very small. I rarely build anything in this game. I generally don't survive like, whoa, what? Why is it? Wow. What's going on? Are these like individual rooms? I'm confused. Anyway, um, that <laughs> that really mesmerised me then. Where was I? So we're going to build a basic little house. Um. Ah, goddammit. So, can I... I'm going to have to replace this hall. Go away. Um, hall. Hall. You say a word enough times. Oh god, so we want it from here to here, right? Am I right? Um, it's not equal. It's very small. Oh well, it will look coolish enough for me. You're not inside of it. GG. Wait, doors are free wide, aren't they, in this? Um, we want a solid door, don't we? Um, I am just hashing up the building of this. It's, see, I don't ever build. Ah, there we go. So, how high do we want it? Do we want it more east to here? Do we want it to be like a... Like a... No, we don't. We don't want it too big. Um, all oh my houses are just blocks. Ten, six, five, five, four. Um, is that too big? I don't even know. Oh, I. I have. Luckily, we have no one to actually build it. I fucked up again. That annoyed me. Um, let's just get rid of all these orders. And let us build this. We'll go three for now. And then we'll do another floor on top of that. Who are you, your Tom Taro? Where's our tailor? She seems pretty useless. Why haven't you built the loom yet? Oh, did you fuck it up? What is the problem? What is the problem? Waiting for 30 seconds, building loom, go. What are you doing? Why just build it? She seems broken. Fine. You can. Build. How are we doing for tools? I haven't checked that for a while, have I? Um, lots of hammers, lots of axes, lots of picks, not so many hoes. Oh, I made one too many. Oh, whatever. And. Um, oh. This farm seems really efficient right now. Brilliant. Couldn't ask for more. 10 out of 10. She's building it. Oh my god. Oh, no, no. <sighs> She's burying Waylin. Um. Hall. No. Let's, let's deck this out. So you're on a table. <laughs> There's no oh there's chairs. Chairs are chairs even a thing now? Do people even sit on them? Allow a unit to sit when idle having a few chairs scattered around is a good way.